they head for the whole center to a lifeline anchored by a weight. They will follow it through the clear upper layer into the black unknown. But as Andrew's eyes adjust to failing light, he sees something to make his heart skip. The shot line just stopped. It looked like it had hit the bottom. Now I knew it hadn't because I couldn't see the weights on the end of it, so it was actually going through a layer. But for all intents and purposes, that layer was the bottom of the lake. I was scared. The floor down there just basically defied all logic. It's like telling somebody, you know, you can jump through the floor, it's not going to hurt you, and there's no way of logically handling that fear. Ron's camera captures a purple haze, some kind of bacteria feeding on sulfate from the limestone. The temperature rises, warmed by billions of animals never before disturbed. This water is extremely hot. My hands are hurting. You know, all the cuts are being stung by the hydrogen sulfide that's in, in the water. You just want to get out of it. You want to descend as quickly as possible. In four minutes, the divers descend the length of a 12-story building. At 140 feet, the bottom. It's a carpet of algae rolled out to form an alien landscape. Some scientists like Stephanie believe life on Earth could have originated below the surface in severe environments like this. Without oxygen, in total darkness, single-celled animals have been found to eat chemicals leached from rock. The divers may well have discovered a primordial soup from which they may have evolved. Stephanie's samples will undergo DNA analysis to reveal their origins. But she doesn't want to stay too long. Hydrogen sulfide is a neurotoxin. Absorbed through the skin, it could cause a diver to black out. And then another revelation. Even the cave floor is not what it seems. Three feet of sludge. After 20 minutes on the bottom, it's time to go. And no one's looking forward to ascending through the black layer. After 40 minutes decompression above the cloud, they return to Earth. Oh, bizarre. What's going on? Oh, this was a silver ring. The clips on my equipment have gone black. Uh -huh. I feel like we've been to some <laughs> bizarre planet and back again. It was just... I have never seen anything like that. And this nasty water. I mean, it just, it has a real evil yeah. quality to it. That's a good way to describe it. It gets evil.
Back aboard, dive computer records reveal the extent of the incredible journey to oblivion. Later tests would show the microbes contain an ancient protein structure associated with life more than three and a half million years ago. The black hole dive certainly rates in the top ten memorable dives. Just reconfirms the complexity of all the bodies of water in which we know. It is quite amazing to actually dive through it and physically understand it. They aren't just what we see on the surface, there is more to it. You know, I respect these environments enormously and, it, and I, I'm constantly reminded what a finite creature I am. And I think that keeps me humble to nature. Uh, we're a mile up now, one mile up. One mile, that's affirmative. Okay. Arriving at Freeport on Grand Bahama Island, Quest's latest adventure is over. Her crew has explored a unique region where so much remains to be discovered. Whoa, I got By brave and right, passionate scientists, three. trying to understand the elaborate natural world above and below the ocean. These are the goals of the quest as she continues her voyage of discovery. <laughs>